All right, and we are here at Cafe Louie in Charlotte, North Carolina, right by the Costco we go to. And we already vlogged the Cafe Louie in St. Augustine, which I'll never forget because somebody went to the bathroom, wiped their ass on the wall, and left a piece of shit in between two tiles where the grout is. So we are going to check out the one in Charlotte. I just found out that they had one in Charlotte here today, earlier today. So let's go in and check this place out. $5.99 for margaritas. That's pretty good. Ginger just absolutely loves their margaritas, by the way. Right away, I can tell that this place looks a lot nicer than the one in St. Augustine. Check out the bar. I love the decor in here, it's awesome. It's very cool. And check this out. Really cool merchandise. These decorations here are just awesome. That wall is beautiful. Check that out. Is the Ooh, do menu. you want to get fried avocado? Whatever you want, dude. I want to try that. Yeah. Whatever you want. An esquite? It's what? Esquite. Mm. The corn. Do you want the corn? Alright, so there's your appetizers, burritos, enchiladas, fajitas, fajitas. Here are the entrees. Pick three combos. Kids menu and desserts. Ooh, drinks. And they have a really mean margarita here, according to Ginger. I don't think I get to try that one, but she uh, seemed very, very happy with it. And here's the lunch menu. You have to order something off the lunch menu. Chip some salsa and check this out. Half off appetizers, Monday to Friday between two and five, and it is between two and five, so all appetizers are half off. So we're gonna order a bunch of these appetizers and maybe split a burrito or something. This should be interesting. All right, so this is the shrimp ceviche. Shrimp ceviche, so this looks so good. Oh man, this is such a treat. And then, You've got these taquitos. These look just fantastic. Just look at that. Covered in guacamole and tomatoes and cheese. Queso dip. Uh, street corn. That just looks fantastic right there. I love street corn. And guacamole. And then Ginger got this margarita. So, yeah, this is uh, quite a feast here. So we, we wanted to try it, and we still have more food. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Good Lord. Chicken empanadas, and look at this calamari. Wow, this is fabulous. This looks so freaking good, man. Wow. Now look how much, oh my God, this is nuts. You need to come here for happy hour. This is, this is wild. Yeah. We locked up, man. We got yeah. here at the right time. <laughs> yeah, this calamari looks great, but it tastes like somebody's like unbathed crotch after work oh. or something. Or after a few days of not bathing, it's oh god. And check out this chicken here. Looks really good. This is a chicken empanada. This is really good. We're gonna see how it tastes. We also got these uh, these rolls. Looks like they're filled with guacamole. I don't know what the hell these are. Fried avocado. Fried avocado. Oh, these are fried avocado. Oh wow, that looks interesting. See, so, yeah, this is fried avocado. It has like an egg roll appearance, but with avocado in the center. We got our entrees here. So we got this massive baja salad. Looks like an avocado ranch dressing, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks so. so good. Look how big that is. That's huge. And then we got these uh, the West Coast burrito. Here. Check that out. It's got french fries in it, chicken, um, all kinds of stuff. Cheese, onions, tomatoes, 
avocado, guacamole, or whatever. It's really good though. Oh, look at that. Just got the solid mix up of love corn and beans and all this mm. yum stuff. This is so good. Here's the total here. With everything came up to only $16.55. Of course, we got all the appetizers half off, so that was pretty nice. Uh, looks like the chip and chicken and empanadas didn't come half off. Uh, maybe a couple other things, but whatever. We need to get out of here. We got held up. All right, so our thoughts on uh, Cantina Louis. Um, uh, nothing there really was good. <laughs> um, I didn't like it so much the first time. I thought it sucked. Um, I thought it was fucking bullshit. I didn't like it. I thought everything was just like, I thought it was just stuffing your face with just bland ass fucking bullshit. Like nothing there was good. It was just like masses of food to like, th to stuff your fucking face with. Like I, I, I was just like, and it was just a miss across the board. Like so many things like they're fucking, uh, what was it? They're, <laughs> Their, um, their calamari tasted like a nasty, dirty, unclean vagina. It was How would you know about that? fucking horrible. It was it awful. Like, I horrible. mean, it stunk. And it tasted just just rotten. It just like this rotten taste to it. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Like, it, like well, I ate one of them, and I, I was I, I tapped I, out. I can't say. We, we normally and cleared that, the plate of calamari really quick. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that soured my fucking stuff. Like, I'm, we're bringing it to the girls as a joke, and I'm gonna watch their faces as they eat it. Uh, and yeah, that was that was just uh, it was a disappointment. But yeah, I mean, the rest of the appetizers were just kind of like, like it's it reminds just like, me of like like school like if a, if a school, school cafeteria. It's like frozen food so, that was decorated like, with like fresco stuff, you know, yeah. and it's just like it's just not good. Like it was bland, I guess. The presentation was it's was all right. Great. Yeah, the, the 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 inside of the restaurant looks great. The ambiance is cool, but the food is a miss. Like it reminds me of like an elementary school. Like if they had like Mexican food day, that's about what I would expect. Or if like uh, we were in jail, I gotta get a baby. You know, like it's just it's it fucking sucks. Service there was a plus, fantastic. Other than you know the little thing where they had to correct our check, um, the happy hour thing ended up not being worth it because the food is not good she thinks it's average right i don't think it's bad i think he's being very harsh but i mean we're we are more picky type of eaters and i think it's awful i don't think it was awful i just think it was just average and probably like what most people are gonna like or that it just seemed very average normal run-of-the-mill americanized mexican food that probably a lot of people will like just imagine a lady Meets a man, he's charming, he's got all the right moves, um, everything going for him. He's handsome, he's successful, he's got it all, he's got all the tools. But then, one night she discovers, you know, he's got a one inch cock, well a one inch penis. That That's, that's uh, Cafe Louis, Cafe Louis has a one inch penis, it looks great from the outside. Looks wonderful from the outside, but when you get your food, it looks great as well. But it's a one-inch penis. Everything is wonderful until you take a bite into those dirty crotch calamari rings, and then it's all downhill from there. It's all downhill. That big pile of guacamole is like the most bland guacamole. Everything is a chore to eat. It doesn't like satisfy you. It doesn't satisfy your palate whatsoever. It's not a palate pleaser. It's it's just stuffing your face with like just mass. That's it. By the way, tell your boss to fuck off. We'll see you on the next adventure. Thank you for checking out this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye everybody.